Elsewhere in South Florida, Cuban Americans are also processing the impact of the Obama administration's decision. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is in Little Havana with more. What we're finding here at Versailles is, is that people are torn about this decision, while on one hand they empathize with the people who are coming from the island in search of freedom. At the same time, they feel that a change in policy is overdue. It's the talk of South Florida's Cuban community. President Obama's surprise announcement that the wet foot, dry foot policy is now over. No longer do Cubans have special status that allows them to stay if they reach our shores. It's weird because it's like I understand both parties. Janeki Ensbaum arrived in the Marielle boat lift. She understands the plight of Cubans wanting to live in the United States. She also feels many have abused what the U.S. has to offer. A lot of the Cubans, the generation back then, they actually came here and they worked and they fought for their freedom. They appreciated the freedom versus today we just come here and we just and we think that we deserve everything automatically and it doesn't work that way. You need to work for what you come here for. You want freedom? Get the freedom but work. You know, appreciate it. While drinking his coffee this morning, second generation Cuban American Frank Cantero is pleased with the new policy. He too is concerned about people taking advantage of the assistance migrants receive upon arrival in the U.S. They get here. Um, we receive them with open arms and then they return frequently to vacation to go back. Cubans are going to continue to leave the island. Ramon Saul Sanchez heads the democracy movement. He's worried that people on the island will not get accurate information, that they will not automatically be offered legal status on arrival and may still make the dangerous trip through the straits. They might just make a decision on false premises that they need to rush over here uh, and that could create a, an increase in the exodus and unfortunately death in the straits of Florida. He also fears people who do make it here will be forced to live in the shadows. They have to uh, live in fear uh, of uh, being arrested, being repatriated, uh, being uh, separated from their families so for those who have already have ch uh, child children here. As we were speaking with Ramon Saul Sanchez, he said that he was looking forward to seeing what happens now when the Trump administration takes the reins of the presidency. He didn't say specifically what he was hoping to see President Trump do. Instead, he said that he's hoping he will continue to put pressure on the Cuban government for changes. In Little Havana, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.